Let us check out Real Soft Subdivision Surface Tool Set. Activate the Q tool. Press down the control key and enter two points in the view window to create a uniform cube object. The created cube object renders as a smooth spherical surface. Hold down the right mouse button and move the mouse to southwest to switch to face mode. Select the top face, press down the control key and drag this scale handle with the mouse to subdivide the face. Any other point in between will enable move on normal function. Press down the control key and move the face downwards. You can rotate the view window by holding down the Alt key while dragging with the right mouse button. Select the bottom face of the cup and subdivide it as well to make the cup a bit more stable. Select the West Compass menu to enter edge mode. Select one of the vertical edges. Press down the control key and drag the edge normal handle. This bevels the selected edge. Switch back to face mode. Select the created face and drag its normal handle with the control key. This creates a handle for the cup. Select the both side faces to the newly created handle by holding down the shift key while clicking the faces. Subdivide the selected faces and click the tunnel tool to drill a hole through the handle. Next we assign more interesting material to our cube. Switch back to object mode to define material properties for the entire cup rather than the faces of it. Click the second tag in the select window. Select the pop-up menu Show Previews, if not already selected. The default material library has many useful materials included. Drag the desired material and drop it into the view window. This sets the material to the currently selected geometric objects. Switch to the top view and create a tabletop for the cube. All geometric objects support a set of transformation handles which allow you to move, scale and rotate objects easily. Drag the vertical axis handle to translate the tabletop so that it touches the cup. If necessary rotate the view to get a better view at the base of cup. Use drag and drop to set desired material for the tabletop as well. The drag and drop interface is really nice way to get materials quickly assigned. Let's add the light source to our scene next. Click the Spotlight Source tool and enter for points in the view window to define the direction and fading angles for the spotlight. Our scene is now ready. Click the Render button to get the final photorealistic image rendered. Thank you for your time. Have a nice day.